Hey guys, Jason here. Uh, just wanted to shoot a little video, uh, maybe some help some folks out. Uh, I've got a stare at dial indicator here, and uh, like a lot of dial indicators, it's got what's called a lug back. So in other words, there's a lug back here that kind of helps you mount this thing to various attachments. So I got a Noga magnetic base here, and Noga says that this is a universal type mount. You see you got this little sort of thing here. This is a three eighths, I think, and then you've got a six millimeter and then you've got some different sizes of the dovetail. But anyways, if you've got a lug back, there's not really a good way to do it. Now you can take this and put this stem kind of down into here like this, but that kind of limits your options. I kind of want it stuck out here so I can do some things with it. And there's not really a good way or an adapter or anything. You can kind of jack around with this and it doesn't work well. Um, but Noga says that this is for a lug back. And I'm like, that's weird. Why does it not fit? Well, you've got this little, this little screw here that fits here. And I started doing some measuring with the old calipers. And this shoulder, get my big fingers out of the way, that shoulder is a quarter of an inch. And this lug back is just under a quarter of an inch. So what I did, I've got two dial indicators I wanted to show you. So what I did was I just mounted this guy in the vise like you see here. And I got the trusty DeWalt with the quarter inch drill bit and just kind of came in here and just opened this up and just kind of just sort of wallered that around just a little bit. Doesn't take much. There's actually some of this black wrinkle paint in here that's closing this up and this doesn't need just couple thou where it'll go and uh so this will now drop down in here like this you want to make sure this turns you see that make sure it turns pretty easy and so what this allows you to do if you get yourself some of these uh six millimeter flat washers i got these from lowe's i'm sure home depot probably has them too but you want to make sure they're six millimeter because this is a nice tight fit on that little, on that little thumb screw. And also these have a shoulder. I don't know if I can show you really well, but they have a little shoulder and you kind of want to make sure that that shoulder is facing away from your dial indicator. So I'm going to put it out like this. And then I'm going to take my dial indicator and turn him around like this and you guys stand by while i get this sorted out because it's going to take just a minute hang on i gotta put you down so i'm gonna take this guy put him through i'm gonna put a washer on this side so i've got something that looks about like that can you see that got two washers on there so we're going to mount this guy to the noga standby what you're going to wind up with is an attachment dealy that looks like that and you're now able to tighten this thumb screw nice and tight. You can't do it one hand. But if you tighten that nice and tight, that's going to hold that with some sort of focus. There we go. With some sort of tension. Now, if that doesn't work, what you can do is get some star washers and put on there. But that's a good way kind of to get started to mount this guy to your Noga uh, without having to buy anything, any kind of weird little adapters here. The fine adjustment up here still works because it's mounted vertical. Um, but anyways, I had that problem and just wanted to shoot like a quick video to show you how you can mount your dial gauge to uh, your dial indicator to your Noga using a lug back. Uh, this is a Starrett 25 series gauge. I don't know if the Mitotoyos are any different, but Hopefully you can kind of see that. I mean, that, that mounting system works pretty well. It's probably not as robust as some others, but if you need to get by in a pinch and you don't want to buy anything, I'm thinking that right there is going to be just as good as anything. So hope this helped you out. It's a quick video. Uh, leave some comments if you've got a, a better idea, but I don't think you're going to find one any cheaper or easier than this one. Thanks.